Storytelling is incredibly powerful. It is an incredible tool to carry forth knowledge in a, in a manner and a capacity that, well, quite frankly, we scientists don't use very often. You're reading these stories to just wonder, what is it like to be a wolf, to imagine the, their circumstances from their perspectives? I, you know, I've been around a long time, and I don't remember a book about stories of wolves written by the people who, at least I think, are very close to wolves, which are wolf biologists. I took a moment to draw in a deep breath and relish the moment. The previous month's tracking had paid off, the conditions were perfect, and this was the moment of truth. To the touch of wild nature. For instance, there's no better way to appreciate predation than to contemplate its essence up close by sitting at the remains of a fresh bull elk carcass on the banks of the Beckler River, soaking my walk-weary feet in its cooling waters swatting the mosquitoes off my arm, smelling the sour rumen baking in the sun, placing my hand over the front pad of 192's massive footprint in the mud. As long as 4909 remained inside the den, it would be next to impossible to get at the pups. I placed the catch bowl on the bank in front of me, adjusted my headlamp, and wriggled up through the entrance and stuck my head past the sandy mound. The tunnel dipped slightly. I pushed my body over the mound and down the chamber. Almost immediately it leveled out and there she was. I saw the face of 4909 staring directly at me from five feet away. Her big yellow eyes. The blinders came off because of the old gray guy. And he not only took them off, he ripped them off. And uh, it was extremely dramatic. So that's what I learned from that one wolf. To be engaged with the book is to imagine, well, how would I have told that story if I had known those things? And this is very, very important because how it is that we tell stories about nature says so much about our relationship with nature. I don't know how you can stand but not buy a book now after having heard that. So. But I want to say it was a privilege to work on this project and, uh, and uh, it's, it was uh, a labor of love for all, all of us.